So we have Grey Keep Gardens yet again. It's a lovely map, pretty competitive. And looks like Ra rolled the good old elves again. I would consider myself lucky. I always like that faction. And we have a Orc player. Lovely, lovely. Let's see what the boys got in store for us. Other than five, four lumber mills and two hunting cabins. Three hunting cabins start. Ooh. Color me intrigued. Very interesting. So I'm expecting a very aggressive start here. I actually don't know if the economy can support that properly. In terms of expansion. Because you also do need that um, wood for... The... Pesterers? No. Scoundrels. The little buggers. Those fellas. Wrong place, wrong. And Ra with the color swap. Playing in turquoise now. Nah, not quite as nice. Still good. I still think these just look like alpacas with antlers. They have very woolly fur there. And we do have an occultist here this time. Our for our stronger. boy. But both of them don't refuse to spend their points. Okay, upgrades two at a time. Alright, that's gonna take a while. Good. Is that the secret behind the triple hunting? To get those act uh, sectors three at a time. Okay, that's very unusual. Interesting. So, it, I'm, I'm guessing it's not about the goblin start, it's about the sector start. That is gonna be highly educational here, whether that works out or not. And we've got an outpost with a hunting Building coming completed. up. So it looks like Ra does want to get some wardens out. Relatively quickly. Oh, speaking the of which, has been built. did we see a double we've hunting here? Our borders. Uh, no, triple woodcutter. So I don't expect too many Building special completed. things here. Yeah, pretty standard stuff. Death resilience, nullified for the pull, demonic pack, block confluence. The outpost has been built. And Our borders have expanded. Both very timely in the middle, but will the Pathfinder? Yes. It's been my crowd. Let's see how that goes. There we go. Demonic pack. Do we see the stun? Indeed, stun comes out, pushes him out. So for the new players is players is the ability of the occultist, this lovely blood fountain here. Gives him 200 additional attack damage, as well as being able to uh, attack three targets at a time, which can also be used to delete these outpost banners within three auto attacks. I'm ready to join my but the, tri the, the thing about it is, as powerful as it is, you do have to stand inside that blood circle, otherwise this occultist will lose health over time. I think it's Jeez. 200 per second. Let us check that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. If Caster does not have condition to demonic pact, 10% of max HP. Okay, so it's not as fixed stand. It's a percentage damage, so that's pretty rough. And there we go. Shrine of Groves comes up. And the counter that Ra used attacked. was the bullseye to knock him back and stun him for a second. As well as impair him for five, so it has to hobble back into the um, blood circle there. And that is what nearly killed him. But he did get out alive in the end. So let's see how the economy for Rigid is looking. So, as expected, the wood like count is wood. pretty low, but two of the lumber mills are already up. Double stone cutters coming. As well as more lumber and hunting. So it's not too bad. So it's a four minute orc without any further units, I believe. I let's check. Command. Yep, that's pure cool display. And he's taking a lot of free damage here. He's trying to go for the economic harass. So he's gonna double tap these and then nice use of the leech. Ra almost fit quick enough to just go into the... Ring the bell there. Let's see what Ra's up We're to. Being attacked. So we've got the standard... Okay, that got a stone cutter there. He's just creeping the top side here. Gets his two bandit camps. Otherwise, we've got a shrine of growth here as well as a woodcutter, an additional one. Economy does look pretty good. We've got a hunting here, which has not been switched back on. So especially in these early days We're where a lot of players still try to think of everything. Putting some early economic pressure on them, forcing them to ring the bell, can lead to these mistakes. 
where you just accidentally leave that on for a prolonged time. Which is really gonna hurt. But yet again, Cultus gets out, but he hasn't really done much except for this play, but that's more down to Ra. Not properly getting his stuff back online. Now, there we go. Now, Grove at five minutes. And we he did build Destroyer. two Guardians from the main. Once he saw the Occultist. And, oh. Looks like he wants to take this very early. I'm assuming he's gonna pull that into the Shrine of Grove. A couple of those. Not a bad plan. Does take a little while. Occultist actually hasn't creeped, I think. Anything. Yes. So he's only at level two. That's gonna hurt him in the long run. The goblins are slowly coming online, but very slowly. Only up to six by now. See the scouting upgrades are also upgrading in mass, which is interesting. Yeah, it looks like we are full eco the, the, the real Building big completed. orc economy is coming up. Seems a little bit indecisive what he wants to do here. And we did lose a guardian and a wolf. The wolf doesn't matter, can be resummoned. But might lose his guardian here if he's not careful. We will be sweet. But just due to the no pressure action here from our orc player, well. um, the elf is just happily expanding. Building completed. I wonder if we're gonna see, for efficiency reasons, to see the growth planted down here to make use of these two workers there. Hang on, he cancelled the growth here Let us see. and went greedy for the stone cut. It looks like he identified. Okay, build it up top here. Building completed. Since um, this is gonna take a while for the iron to come online, to make use of those two workers, and then just rather get the stone there. Not a bad shout, but oh, nice ambush. Question is how much value does he get? But the goblins yet again. We're being attacked. Get picked off. My bow is two ready. versus four. In terms of levels, and the, the goblin numbers are just too low at the moment for rigid. Mm -hmm. So basically, with this greedy opener, he would need to explosively increase his population. But since he's orcs, he has literally only access to two, four, six production buildings here. Okay, seven now. And they do take 27 seconds to build. So that's going to take a while if we compare this. I think um, Guardians... From here are 17 seconds, yep. So almost, you get the same production out Building of this completed. as out of two sectors almost. And a well microed guardian is gonna be worth a little bit more than a goblin. Or better said, the equivalent to goblins. So it's looking pretty rough. So what's he up to here? So it looks like we're going for the economy here, Russ. Which isn't a bad shout, but is he gonna dodge the... Ooh, nice pull. That was a weird bit, bit of a weird one there. Oh, but yeah, blood packed. Nice disengage. Has to stay in there, otherwise he's gonna lose his health. Which leaves the goblins alone. Nice move here into the choke point. Funnels them up, and the barrage is a disaster. For the goblin tide. We're under attack! Still at level 2. Really rough stuff here. It does get a lot of the Guardians low, but if Ra just runs them away and fights the rest of this with his Ranger and the Outpost, he's gonna be just dandy. Mm. Mm, okay. Just tries to get some more shots in with a bow stance, which is not a bad shot. But yeah, just he just can't translate that e economic opener into population. Which is really hurting him right now. I do want to, I think... Do we have any... I don't think we have any unupgraded left to check. But I do believe the higher it gets, the quicker it gets at least for the orcs. Building completed. The Kalrak at the moment will get patched down to, I think, normal levels for the others. Because building, building out completed. of the main does take twice as long as out of a barracks for all races. There you go. Gonna see... The undead camp taken over here. All the guardians are happy and healthy. It's gonna be an easy camp. 
And he, he got spotted here there for a second. He's moving in, still at level 2. Did he buy anything? Not at all. He's out of potions as well. We're being attacked! Well, thanks to the creeping, Ra just has, sits happy on all of these potions. Which is rather insane. And adds even a little couple more to it, to the collection. And there we go, we have triple growth now. Can match the orc production now. And again, yeah, he's, he's tries to... Looks like he right-clicked on... Okay, no, he's passing, just passing through, then hit stop. Building completed. To attack all those guardians, but that's just in Ra's favor here. Gives him the barrages. He does pick off a couple guardians. That's just so much XP and money for Ra here. We're under attack! <laughs> it's an absolute bloodbath. He's doing a little bit better than I get than I thought he would do, but looks like the fun is over. The guardians prevail. And he does have a steady stream of gobbles funneling in here. We're being attacked. So he does outnumber him. So that's good. Looks like some hunters are coming online as well. We'll be fast. Not too shabby, but the occultist is too low to participate. Participate. Participate now. No health potions. Oh, and I think he's gonna get sniped if he's unlucky. Speaking of sniping. Ah, no, nope. he's just happy with the AoE damage. Full damage AoE build. I do wonder... Well, I guess it's good for creeping, though, Spectre Wolf. For not spec into the sacrifice. He doesn't need it. But it's definitely nice to have at the end of an engagement, for example. And, I mean, he didn't know that at the beginning, but he's got a lot of focus potions. That could be a bit greedy. But I think he's getting away with it. Nice use of the bullseye. Ooh, that was lucky. Nicely done here. Good disengage. So keeps that chain lightning contained to only the four boys there. Saves a lot of health. Rigid's coming back in with the goblin tide, but the occultist still has no potions, We're I think. Oh, that does pick off a warden, which technically is nice. I wait your command. Oh god, the occultist might just go down to the outpost itself. And it does <laughs> just lays flat on his... <laughs> On his back and accepts his fate. Getting sniped in the stomach. Protectors are out. Which is actually getting surprisingly quickly devastated by the hunters here. What do you want? The hunter count isn't bad. But just with the ranger and support, there's no way he can can stay. Since the goblins will just die. Do we have a rally problem here? I think we have. Ah, no, it looks like he... Oh, that's nice. Very nice. So, if you have rally problems on this map, for example, if you're an orc, you rally everything over here. Which, yeah, looks like he's just selected everything and grabbed it over there. Now everything's running past him here. But he did make very nice use. He rallied... Okay, I thought he was rallying these two things into the godstone and then had the godstone set up to rally We've at the no other position. Which would have been pretty nice. You do need then con two control groups for your production. I think it's worth it. We've no more room for troops. But it's a lot of a little Ready bit of extra micro and macro posts. that you just have to think about. So it's not something I recommend for newer players or people who are struggling to keep up with things as is. So he does have a good goblin swarm here, but this almost reminds me of Starcraft 2. This one guardian is holding a choke against the entire tide here. The protector's out of position though. Getting focused down, but all of these hunters are low. This could be one barrage and the hunters are gone. Oh no! Gets them. Nice focus fire. Prioritized the hunters. Saw them as well as how low they were. And there you go with the triple cooldown. We're being attacked. Just completely, de completely decimates them almost by herself. Yeah, it's three versus seven. Here you can see the real power of a high level hero versus a low level one. As well as the fact, I think, yeah, he, Rigid still wasn't shopping. So he can't can't stay with the hero. Pretty tough stuff. What's the hunter count now? What now? So for Ra we have three protectors. Okay, the warden wanderer count isn't too high yet. Looks like the iron is coming in a bit yes. slow and Rigid got rid of a couple of them. Okay, teleports into the middle and it's probably gonna try to attack the iron here. 
55 scoundrels, <laughs> 58, <laughs> and 7 hunters. They won't even fit all around this. We've no more but at least it gives you a couple of, couple of spare gobos to outpost. crash the army with. But oh, look at the damage! <laughs> a nice pull there, just a second too late. But we what still do don't mean? have a potion! We've no more room for troops. We the shop is there. Please use it. And since the hunters are the only ranged... Uh, uh, the hunter is just, uh, the ranger is currently just disengaging. I think the protector, no, no, they don't have the upgrade yet. It looks like still single target damage. So, the goblins do survive a little bit longer. But it's not that much longer. <laughs> just getting stabbed now. And that was We're being probably 20 supply traded for about 100. About 100. Rough stuff there. We're under attack. I hope, really hope he goes shopping now after he comes out of the Godstone. Speaking of shopping, has Raw bought anything? Oh, no. Again. He's a rich man and he likes it as such. Oh, the choke point again. And now so the Wanderers can just kind of pierce through all of this. Oh, lucky for them, this one goblin, the hero of the people. Save these goblins for about half a second from death. But the ranger said nay, nay, nay. Uh, nah, he's not losing too much here. Just his army's a little bit low. So he does snipe some iron units, but he's lost so many hunters. Please tell me you have potions. We're under attack! Ah! Bridget! I mean, he doesn't have much money, but 3,000 does buy you a couple. Oh god. Let's see. This is probably not gonna look too bad. I don't think the upgrade has been purchased yet. Yeah, we also don't have an armor yet. So that occultist is not as tanky as you're used to. Okay, he's gonna try and leech here. Oh no, he didn't get the leech! We're under attack! Oh, I think it was... Oh, he doesn't have... He doesn't even have it, because he's level 3. And he's backed into the resilience. Damn it. We lost a second. Ah, and there is GG. One, no... Ra. Yeah, Ra played it really well. Uh, Cultus vs. Rains is not fair. It's... N pretty much no matchup is fair. If it's level 2 versus 7. The Occultist does te does definitely have a chance. A really well played Occultist just pulls your elite units back into the fray and swarms you with goblins. Ooh, nice portrait. But yeah, 273. I, I just want to see how much damage that hero did. 102,000 damage versus 21. Ouch. Really needed to creep a bit. Get some gear. Get some potions especially. That hurt as well. And yeah, the, the greedy economic opener, I think he was, I, I get what he was trying to do, but on a small map, I think you can get away with on a, on a big map. It should work there at least a lot better. But on this small map, the sector count isn't, it just isn't there to support the troop count. So you're basically just stockpiling food at some point. Let us actually check that. Uh, resources owned, yeah, look at this. We're uh, way better at spending here. Once all of these sectors were upgraded and stuff, he just didn't have the production to actually keep up with the supply. I didn't know when you could put, pull, pull stuff off that bar. Uh, oh, you removed the leech from the bar? Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, that's highly unfortunate. But uh, you still want some health potions, though. Wait, did you? It looks like you actually sold the uh, focus potions, right? Hang on. Oh, you bought something. Very good. But never afterwards. Yeah, it looks like you saw... F that looks like a cell and then... Yeah, that's... No, actually, that's just the two creep camps in the beginning. And then you sold your focus and bought some health, I guess. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This time, we're not gonna... Spoil arena you. Okay, before I forget, we're gonna give Ra his well-deserved point.
There you go. And I, oops, I just put a space in there where none belonged. Wonderful, wonderful. Then you're going to give you oops, my beautiful face to not spoil Arena. And then we're going to go up in game two and see what these boys have up. Uh, have for us. Uh, Japan sending sending PSN. It did recently come out. Well, the versus version, but it was also on sale recently, and it should probably go on sale again on um, uh, at Christmas. Also, if you don't want to play the campaign and only PvP, there's a free demo which gives you access to one of the base races. Sadly, you can't choose, so you either get humans, orcs, or elves assigned, but you can fully participate in the ladder. And if you l just want a PvP aspect, you can unlock all races for 15 euros. And for example, on the last sale, if you don't necessarily want trolls and you still want a campaign, um, Soul Harvest, for example, was on offer for eight, eight euros, uh, at least in Europe. And that gives, uh, gives you access to all races except trolls in the multiplayer version. So if you own a base campaign, you don't have to purchase the skirmish version, the versus version. You just have to install it and then you get the factions unlocked that you have paid for. And I should probably show you the game. There we go. Let's get into it. So we have Ra with some Dog Elf action. I love it. In the red. Well, it's not the corner. The red middle of the map versus the white orcs of the snowy mountains in the south. Sending his scout straight ahead. Occultist play yet again. Good stuff, good stuff. And we have a ooh, Guardian of Nor in sexy red there. That's actually not looking too bad. That could use a haircut though. And yeah, looks like he's gonna go for the aggressive one here. Or better said, the safe one. Because sometimes uh, Orc players, what they like to do is they grab this, they upgrade it, and then they just immediately rush your sector to deny it. Which can be pretty nice. Yeah, we're gonna wait until after the first creeps to check what they're attacking, uh, specking into, because otherwise we're gonna have to check again. Uh, do we see anything fancy? So we've got three hunting again into five lumbers. All right, all right, all right. Nice use of the specter. So the specter has an ability. Basically, it's just the dark elf scout unit, but it doesn't have an attack. It, instead, it has this debuff that gives you uh, minus twenty-five. Uh, movement speed for the afflicted target for I think 20 seconds and it also gives you vision as long as it's active on that unit So if we are checking here for Ra You can see Pretty far away from him So this is the side range he gets from the Spectre itself and that's the one he gets from the mind invasion So it's not insignificant Oh that was a sound bug and a half The clunk clunk there uses the spiderling with the Guardian of Nor, because Guardian of Nor, depending on how you spec him, so he didn't go for brute force. You just go straight for debilitating blow, soul explosion, and soul transformation. So we've got an AOE damage with a debuff for attack damage. We have an interrupting damage ability on a single target and a teleport um, ability. There we go. That's the word. And yeah, just look at that value here, especially ag especially against an orc. Slowing down the Orcs expansion is extremely valuable. So he's just shuffling along here, trying to gain some territory. Meanwhile, Ra's already on his fourth. And he's dropping pretty low here. Let's see how we spec him. So we do have the Blood Sacrifice. We've got Pact, Blood Sacrifice and the good old Leech as well as the Nullify. And uh, already two stacks of Death Resilience. Ooh, and doesn't quite get it. Looks like he used the Nullify to pull him in. Chieftain. The but couldn't finish. Has been built. Our borders have expanded. Some gobos are up, and oh, nice orc walker us. Seems to have been sitting there for a while. So picks off one woodcut at a time, which is pretty good against dark elves. Brothers, get ready. There's work to be done. Looks like he accidentally built an additional woodcutter. Not sure if that was an accident or just accidentally deselected the workers. Trying to put them in there. <laughs> the specter is still annoying the, the hell of the cultist. You can really see the agony there. So 
So the orc is only on four sectors. Look at this value. Well, the dark elf is already on six. Surprised he hasn't, like the first batch of goblins probably should have just chased that spectre. So it can't annoy the occultist anymore. So it looks like a teleport back. So just get away from him. Scoot just says, leave me alone for the love of God. And teleports to the other side. But I see so, like not so far behind, but it's just so much value for the Dark Elf player. So well done there. Let's see what he's done with that advantage. So the woodcutter is still idle, so that's 15 wood down the drain for the moment. He finally gets rid of the warg. Looks like, according to the soul standard, we've got three dead workers there, so that's not too bad. Especially in combination with that mistake here. Slow them down substantially. We will do as you say. Oh, that might have been why. Because the guys were dying, they were just assigned to here. There's work to be done. But it seems doesn't seem too bad. So he's upgraded the middle here. Gets a woodcutter there. Okay. I like to get a stone cutter there, but you can always also get that later, depending how long you want to stay tier one. And against an orc, you kind of have to stay a little bit longer in tier one. So nice pull here. Just grabs, baits two of these Medusas over here so he doesn't have to fight the whole pack. Which enables you to do it a lot earlier with a lot f less units. Especially if you micro them well and pull them away before they die. Versus on the other side, the Occult is gonna brute force it with a lot of goblins. But a lot of goblins are paying for it. So a little bit less efficient here. It's losing a... No, it's a third goblin, I think, that went down here. So that does definitely We're can the impact turn. the game from here on out. Let's see, and yeah. Looks like Ra is still in the potion business. Has a decent amount of them. Oh, spiders might go down there. So both for goblins and spiders, you get two of them when you build them. Since they are a swarm unit. So two of them are equivalent to like one guardian, roughly speaking. But looks like he only lost one spider so far. <coughs> Spectre is just keeping tabs on our orc player, seeing when he when he marches forth. Oh, and doesn't lose an additional spider. Pretty lucky. Sometimes the AI of the creeps is a bit willful and just switches target targets on you. Hey, hey, looks like someone learned from his last I game. We have pur purchased some potions and a level 2 armor. Oh, he does get a Orca Ceremonial Crown. To get... Well, in home territory, he's gonna s get 7 health out of combat. This item does Building not work complete. in combat. And does cost 3,000 gold. Uh, let's see. So a lot of the top players do not consider it worth it. And I would agree. Building complete. You can always grab it in the super late game. If you really feel you need it, you do get some more value out of the out of, out of it on the cultists since you um uh, do cause do blah, 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 blah. you pay for your spells with your own HP. So he doesn't have a focus bar; he just We're uses his HP bar bar to cast his spells. And nice arrest here. Tries to go after the lumber, but the counter arrest is incoming. Speaking of which. Yep, looks like the Risen Cull Rock literally just finished. And tier 2 for our Dark Elf players is, as expected, a little bit slower. Alright, here comes the teleport. Let's see how that goes. Oh, nice pull. But it was a bit iffy there, so it doesn't manage to get him all the way into this block pack. So try not to pull across buildings. Goes after them. Can be a very deceptive fight. I made the mistake of not specking into the soul catharsis to heal up my spiders in my game. Which promptly lost it. Which I probably shouldn't spoil to you. Apologies. In case you have not seen it. But let's see. And should probably be pretty even supply here. 24, 34. Dark Elf actually ahead. Looks like Rigid is always 
prioritizing his economy a little bit too heavy with orcs rather than swarming his enemies but nothing's lost yet this map usually drags out since it's such an even split on map and it takes quite a while to walk over so it gives you a little bit of time to react and things which is probably also why it's one of the most picked maps so far in the tournament because nobody likes to go out in five minutes but nice use of the spectre there slows him down again doesn't pressure the issue though but also no yeah what now? can't heal them up yet with a sacrifice or spider doesn't have the level for that yet but at least we've got level four now for the occultist and he's got brute force interesting choice so it basically gives you damage on your ability as well as multipliers like um, the debuffs will get stronger as well for example, or healing abilities, things like that. Generally speaking, rule of thumb, passive abilities do not get increased by brute force. So for example, well, it's a bad example because it's percentage based. But for example, the restore 50 focus on block for the guardian here does not get increased by brute force. That could be a bit greedy. Building completed. That little golem has pretty much all the resistances it needs here. The question is, what is Rigid up to? So while all of that is happening, Rigid is trying to go for a counter push. And while I let you watch this golem go to town on some spiders, I'm gonna wet my whistle, because the throat's getting dry. <coughs> there we go, clank, 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 clank. Trying to nibble at the heels of a stone golem with spiders. Not entirely sure how that works, but they do magic damage. And there we go, Ra. Oh, the handles are very far forward here, so it's gonna get some nice worker picks there. That's gonna be good, but that's level 6. These golems are worth so much XP. So, what did Ra get here? So, that's pretty huge. And plus 50 focus, uh, half a point of focus per second is pretty huge. That essentially is an entire perk of deep waters, except for the. No, it's actually two levels of deep waters, just without the extra focus. So that's a pretty nifty item. Building completed. And what did he spend his points in? God fucking damn it! I tried to. Ah, oh god, I hate this so much. If any of you Spellforce developers are watching, I'm very tempted to send some hate mail, just for that button. I love your game otherwise. <laughs> Fuck me this button. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna make a very specific hate mail and then I probably have to s s send a bucket of flowers afterwards as an apology. But Jesus Christ, whose idea was that? Can someone... Okay, we're just gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna cut this for YouTube. So for now... We're gonna have to underline this a little bit. With something here. Because I can't take this. I can't take this. Nothing to see here. Carry on. Carry on. Jesus. All right, nothing happened. We're back in the game. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got here. Yes. Uh, how's the supply, Loki? So we've got seven six for run. Oh God, this is way too close to this button. And a hundred eight for a goblin player. Completed. Why is it there? Especially on this next to this. Why well, always have to click? All right. Uh, where were we? Oh God! Is there a hotkey for, for for this button here? Please tell me there is. Oh Jesus Christ! All right. So yeah, I don't think we have anything extra for him. Don't click that one. So we've got full focus, full damage. No, surprisingly, no plague field to increase the damage of soul explosion. Etc. as of yet. 
nor any ability to heal. But luckily for him, Building completed. Jesus Christ, Rigid is not punishing that. This almost seems slowed down. This is speed one, right? Yeah, there is no half speed. So let's see, but um, there's a steady unit stream coming in. Oh, this is making me so nervous now. Uh, hang on, first of all, something I want is a little bit of in-game music. There we go. Oh, this is a very big clump here. Guardian teleported in. Doesn't? Did he actually use his ability? I'm not entirely sure there. Nope, just teleported in and then went out again. Maybe you saw the hunters here coming in. Oh, nice pull. That's a very good one. Could be punished. And it looks like um, Ra's iron transition is a little bit delayed. So he stayed on... He did tech up earlier. We saw that. But I don't see any iron in the ma uh, at least in the usual spot yet. Okay, there are some sleepers now coming into the mix. No, nope, that's not what I need. I need a control A on Ra. We've got three sleepers, probably without upgrade. Versus 172 supply of orcs. And ah, oh, there's a go. There's a lovely pull. Here comes the blood. And there should be the leech on top to give him extra damage. And that's... Ooh, that hurt a lot. So we're down to 86. Very nicely done here by Rigid. Beautiful play. Let's see. Oh, Spectre gets Harvester gets snapped out, so no souls for you for the next. I don't know how long does it take to respawn. Anyone can confirm? Uh, looks like the leech is always a bit off. Did he unequip it again by accident? But yeah, this is how you use the Goblin Swarm. You conquer and divide. You pull you pull uh, pockets of enemy units in. There we go, and then you swarm them with the goblins to body block. It's one of the few you, few ways you can body block in this game. They do have to be infantry sized targets themselves, so heroes usually can pass through unless it's a literally three goblins deep formation. But otherwise that's not bad. So level five here for our orc player, and now he's just right clicking the border fortress to get that down. Could assign some of these goblins back to against the army. But it worked just fine. There we go. Lovely attack here by the guardian. But without the sacrifice ability, it just falls off a little bit in the later stages of the game. Because there's just so goddamn many of them. There's no regen, sacrifice regen to get any of these spiders back up. Not to speak of the infiltrators. <laughs> Harvester goes down again. <laughs> so it looks like the, the, they're not even... There's another Harvester. Do, how many spires do we have up? Okay, we've got double spires. That explains it. Oh, but the Goblin Titus is coming in and just look at the minimap. It streams and streams. There we go. Wonderful leech. Puts him back up to a lot of health. And the infiltrators can only shoot one at a time. And we have a decent amount here of hunters. It's really annoying that I can't do that in free, spe free spectating. <laughs> harvester goes down again. Another Harvester over there. So let's actually check from Ra's perspective how many souls are there on the ground. Look at that. That's Soul City right there. Unfortunately, he's got other problems to work on. And I'm almost tempted to put the Benny Hill music back on. See that chest? I'm actually chasing a little bit deep here, but there we go. Just goes off the Frontier Outpost now. Very nicely done here. Very good push by Rigid. Iron transition, just not quite far enough. What's the income like? Okay, we, we would have to wait a minute, I think, until we would, uh, would that would be shown. That's currently a replay bug. We lost one of our sectors. And I do need to look up the hotkey for production buildings. Building completed. So I don't quite know how many Halls of Pains he's got. But there are a couple ready. sleepers coming in. So we're up to four sleepers and a Scion. That's pretty good. Using any of the, the leftover Echo, but he just lost two of his buildings there, outposts. He's trying to replenish the farms, he's running out of food. Yeah, it looks like the upgrades weren't quite quick enough early in the game. 
couple halls of pain on Dark Temple. Alright, so a decent amount of halls of pain scattered about. Can I? No, that doesn't work. But I don't see a forge as well, so those sleepers... Oh wait, no, there's the forge. And the sleeper upgrade has been purchased, so that's good. But look at his tide. There's the goblin tide that we've always wanted to see. From the get-go. Teleport's coming in, but that puts a lot of his infiltrators in danger. But yeah, there we go, there we go. That's the stuff. Look at them sleepers going to town here. Unfortunately, they're literally getting drowned in Goblin Tide. Goblin Tide actually sounds like a washing up liquid. That's the wrong one. The thing's for clothes. You know what I mean. That's for the Americans out there. Fresh and green. There we go. Finally some souls again. But <laughs> it's not looking too hot. But yeah, look at them sleepers. But sleepers, they are very expensive. They don't have, compared to other frontline units, they don't have many resistances. At least they're not vulnerable to magic damage, but they're also not don't not tanky against strike as well as low hit points. So you have to kind of tank for them with tarantulas. Because they can attack from the second row behind them. So that's what makes them strong. So you definitely want like a, at least 3 to 1 mix of tarantulas to sleepers. I would, I would suggest just to get max value out of them. Also, when they're spread, I would say, like, if they're a little bit spread apart, like here, this is a good spread there. If they would actually be hitting a swarm, you get max value out of that. Their bleeds do not stack, but they do hit three boys at a time. Looks like the hunter count does get thinned out. That's not a bad engagement here. But I think the guardian just <coughs> broke it while I was explaining all the sleeper stuff. And indeed he did, so no way to finish these guys off except for some sleepers who are all dead now. And now the, yeah, the, look at this, look at this mini map. There's just so much green skins coming in. He doesn't even Building care, complete. he just passes them through the main. They're getting rallied onto his hero. Blood for the blood god. We're under attack. It shall be spilled. I, Jesus Christ, I almost clicked it again. And I think, there we have it. Ra concedes. The goblin tide was too goblin-y. GG. Well played. So lovely comeback here from Rigid. Much better use of the occultist. And I'm happy to re report that he bought some potions. And there we go. Damage pretty equal. Yeah, very surprised. You kind of need to start getting those sacrifice abilities at some point with the Guardian, otherwise, especially against Orc, otherwise they just outclass you. But it's not a mistake I'm unfamiliar with. Uh, what, what do I want to check? Yeah, hero party experience, uh, pretty even. Uh, Ra did spend something in the end there. It's pretty good to get the, the block, sh the, the shield pretty early on. And after level 5, once you get the right side ultimate, you might also want to invest a better sword. Because you get uh, some really nice attack speed there. So let's upgrade Rigid scoreboard to give him his point. One to one. We've got a match. I'm going to let you look at my pretty face again. Which is now not needed anymore, granted, since we are on game three. But we shall jump in there. <laughs> I feel a meme being born right here now. Yeah. Jesus. That button. Someone make a really nice meme out of that. And then post it on Discord because we needed it. Ooh, ooh la la. You can't see what I can see. I'm gonna change that and look at that. We've got Ra with the dwarves. Oh, I'm so nervous now with this goddamn button. Fair enough. Let's make this quick. Shop, shop. But it looks like yeah. Looks Let's like yeah. It's away. always oh, triple hunting cabin. Have we been on two earlier? Might be a little bit of a different build, but Empyrean Coast. Surprised um, Rigid hasn't um, banned this map. It's a famously tough map 
for the Orc player, as long as the other, if his opponent doesn't mess up too hard and loses both these Medusa sectors. I'm curious to see him going that left side here. So I'm expecting him to rush that front line there and I'll probably teleport back to try and grab this. But the usual creep route here is for the southern players, grab this and then you generally check if he rushes that thing. And then you just teleport back and grab the left. Now let's see if they contest each other. Wait, what? There we go. Ah, oh, no, he's walking back over here. Okay. Did he use his portal? He did. Okay. So he, he was trying to be speedy. Oh, but I think it's going to be a little bit too late. That could be disastrous. Especially... Yeah, we see the triple stonecutter start into two hunting cabins. Oh, but I said the other way around. So this is definitely the famous axe wielder start. There's going to be almost as many axe wielders as there are gobos. And on a small map like this, they might even surpass them. And the high hero fund is really, really good at keeping goblin numbers down with her cleave attack that she gets. So we've got scattershot ammunition here, which gives you for 10 auto attacks, she hits two more tar uh, two targets. It is not three tar attacks per hit. That tooltip is false. It is only two on the first level. But for the moment, it is uh, 10 shots still. But oh, looks like Rigid did manage to hold on to his territory. So that's good for him. Can I like... No, I can't use the mouse... Uh, Okay, he does have to stun to knock him out of his occult stuff and some kill shot stuff. So, looks like a pretty standard damage build for the high Hierophant. And Rigid is dropping pretty low there. The outpost has been built. Our borders have expanded. But standard opener from him as well. So generally what you're going to see with the with the dwarves, you're going to see three stone cutters in the main, if you go for the axe with a rush. Double hunting cabin on top of it. Then you're going to see one of these upgraded into the scouting post. Then you're going to see a stone cutter into hunting. And then we're probably going to see it over here. We're going to see double stone hole, so the barracks for the dwarves and the hunting cabin added there. And from that point onward, meanwhile, you've constantly been producing axe wielders from the main already. And then it basically doesn't stop. You just keep producing axe wielders out of er every orifice you can. They're just popping out of the grounds. And the stunty tide is gonna rival the goblin tide. Our we will shall see which one proves mightier. But that was a really lucky we'll under roll here for Ra. Getting get a faction with this strong an early game on a small map against orcs. Our the bells have been rung. Attack. And Just gonna I'm put sure him down even further. There we go. Nice. Sells the focus potions. Gets the tier 2 armor. But the lumber harass is gonna cause a lot of delays in the orc economy. Since the scoundrels do cost also lumber as well as food to produce. Which means you won't have enough lumber to actually get all your lumber mills and hunting cabins and then it spirals out of control from there. And I'm almost certain that's exactly what we're going to see here. And oh god. Oh. That must have been like a 1 HP occultist there. Does get the mole rider. I think there's a dead axe wielder among there. Indeed. But the damage has been done. As you can see now, he's super low on wood. He does have most of his buildings up though, for the moment. Hunting cabin is just finishing up. So it wasn't Building too completed. disastrous, but it's still gonna matter. Your command. Fair enough. Let's make this quick. Uh, what's the level difference? Two. Hmm. Yes. Two. Okay. Um, hmm. he's actually one ahead Let's since he has crept his backline. While Ra was aggressive, but that's gonna change right now. So he's gonna grab that up and see. Let's see if, if I was correct, and he does the proper channel. So oh no, he's go for the one-one again. So he gets an additional outpost. So as far as I know from Cheese, you get uh, the double stone hall and the hunting on the second outpost. And then you get another stone cutter and hunting on the third. 
I think that's the faster timing. And yeah, Rigid saying that's gonna be a hard game on this map indeed. From the get go. I'm curious, why didn't you ban it? Uh, which which one do you which map do you hate more than this? To play on. But the purple dwarves almost make me sick looking at them. But we're stuck with them. Ah, okay, uh, you already said that. You banned Ancient City and Wasteland of Zoom. Mm, I think Wasteland of Zoom could be a decent orc map, if you know how to play around with it. Not entirely sure about that. Ancient City, actually. I think that's a, definitely a better orc map than this one here. So that's definitely interesting, but it's your choice. Let's see if it was a wise one. So the Axe Wielder train is marching forward. Only one stone hull, I believe. Am I missing something? There's a char burner coming up. Is that a fast tech? No, not yet. I think Town Hall. I don't think Town Hall is the T2 one, right? So the Axe Wielder count isn't actually as high as it could be. Pretty decent pull there. But an even better stun. That's gonna be 10. Oh, looks like he actually clipped a pixel. They're like, it's a bit hard to see, but I think it's the, the radius of this is a little bit like here. So he wasn't actually outside of it. The last particle of the swirls are almost invisible there. Let's see, anyone gonna make a count run for the mid? It doesn't quite look like it. Another char burner added. I'm really surprised we haven't seen a second stole hall yet. Is it in the main? No. Since there's usually not any workers left there. It's going full economy, Jesus. So the thing about why I'm saying this is like um, your stone cutter is going to cost you. Like you think you need a stone cutter because you're low in stone. But you also have to think about you need the same amount of stone for the stone hull. So by the time you have the, the stone cutter, you might as well have the stone hull. And on a small map like this, you don't need that many extra things. But... We shall see. We shall see. Building completed. No master has fallen from the skies, as we Germans say. All right. We'll be fast. And I myself most likely can't and won't do it better. Chop, chop, but just brothers. as a hint Let's for the newer boys, something to think about. Our We've got our blood forge our up. Rock. So the <laughs> strength in numbers is upgrading. That gives you, on each one. training of the scoundrels, you get an additional one. So there's a three coming out of those barracks a pop. And this could be really good for the Orc player. If he intercepts that grappy, especially after that wonderful lightning here. That could be just exactly what he needs to pull ahead in the sector count. And especially like the High Hierophant really needs a level 5 to deal with high numbers of goblins. Nice pull. Does he get the full surround? Oh, but the the wyvern swings both ways. Punish the goblin horde now. So the playing field has been evened. Leveled. Even leveled. So he's going for the post there. Oh, but indecisive. Ah, but that was pretty nice. Splits the rest of his guys over there. Baits the storm burst with the hierophant into the goblin horde. Whether by design or by accident. That was pretty spicy. And this time the goblins suffer. Oh, but the wyvern wants to level the playing field. What a bro. <laughs> Goes after the dwarves and kills two of them. And there is more goblins coming. So you're probably gonna see him back in. Who is the, how's the potion count looking? We're under attack. So the higher hierophant is pretty stacked. And Rigid is in a pretty good spot as well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Dance of Dragons here. But, unfortunately for the Orc player, the scouting post has been erected. And Dwarven outposts are pretty sturdy. 
So that's a huge problem. Didn't commit to destroy the flag. And the outpost did come up in the end, by the, because the wyvern was preoccupied. It looked like they were still on one stone hall. Can that be? Okay, no, there's like two double extra stone halls now, and the sentries are being produced as well. Good stuff, Let's good stuff, going. and Don't that's worry. something I always forget well, once I have barracks up, that I time. should be still be producing from the main if I can. It is half as slow, but it's still an extra unit. So, lovely stuff there from Ra. Nah, he's trying to go after it now, but there's too many goblins, in fact. Can't even get everybody to hit this. And these fortified outposts do have... Oh, yeah, it's a fortified one, so it's 10,000 hit points. If we're gonna compare that with the frontier outpost, which is the level 2 outpost for the orcs, it's only at 5. That's 100 magic damage. Shop, shop, Jesus. Brothers. So, that's the one aspect that the dwarves come uh, make true to the defensive nature here in this game. Everything else is super aggressive, but the outposts are definitely defensive. So that trade is gonna go in favor of the dwarves, because look at this. The buildings have um, 33... Per, uh, like, if we, if we check this. They have 33, 66, 33, and minus 50, I think. So you really need siege damage. Goblins, especially without bannermen, the 25 strike banners is almost nullified. The numbers will make it count. I'm surprised he's not... Where's the Hierophant? We're under attack! Where are you? Looks like you're just giving up that sector, which is interesting. Pretty sure he's definitely had the time. But maybe he doesn't care that much. He's just gonna jump in afterwards now. Oh, the Wyvern hasn't even been dealt with. There we go, there's the teleport. Gets himself clumped up in a little bit. But that's pretty bad for both sides because both of them kind of want the surface area. Goblins more so Building than the Axe Wielder. But immediately gets the flag sniped before it's finished upgrading. The outpost is complete. Nice We've prioritization there by Ra. Borders. And the goblins do get stuck on each other. So you kind of have to like micro them. There we go, there's the micro. Completed. Nicely done, but that is time that they're not hitting things. But uh, they're doing pretty decent. It's not too bad, the cult is doing well. We're under attack! Four. Hierophant actually only at level 3. The cult is at level 4. The Wyvern, if the Wyvern goes down at this range, we Ra is actually not gonna get uh, XP for that. Because it's, it's like roughly, it's a very so huge area, but I think it's rooms. roughly like this, the width of the sector, where you get um, the XP, roughly, probably a bit bigger. But the trades aren't too bad here for the core player. Still needs to get that flag down before it's upgraded. Luckily for him, Ra hasn't done so yet. Goblin Tide is marching. We're under attack. Do not press restart. Good, 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 good. By the way, does Ra Somebody have to... We're under attack. He does have the tier 3 bow. So that makes her even potent, because that's... Most abilities do not scale with the weapon damage, but things like auto-attacking increases like Somebody a scatter shot. A look at those definitely do. So both like Occultist, Hero of Hierophant and Guardian of Noor are instances where... Uh, the weapon upgrade can be pretty valuable. Guardian of Noor more so after the ultimate, on the, the right side ultimate. Before that, it's not that important. We're so it's looking pretty good for Rigid here. He's doing really well. The worrying thing is... Yeah, the scouting post went up, unfortunately. He didn't prioritize the flag. The middle is up and running. But he hasn't done bad, all things considered. Let's see, anything... We've got the Risen Cull Ruck, so we, we, didn't, we they haven't rushed. We have some free workers here, because, yeah, hunting is out. But the iron is coming up, so that's not too bad. We're under attack! Do we have... The Goblin Tide's coming home. All right. we'll what kind of upgrades do we have? 
So we don't have Zarak Steel or anything of that yet. Looks like only for for now the scoundrel upgrade for three of them. I do there we go. Fortress in the back there. Yeah, on the small map sizes he does kinda has is forced into a population upgrade. Especially if it lose territories like that. And he's already on the second one, so that's resources he'd rather not have spent. But he's floating a lot. Just because he just can't pump out fast enough on these four sectors. Building completed. 53 iron as org. Technically, that's a dream. Fair enough. Let's see, yeah, we are, yeah, Building we are completed. fully producing hunters now. 60 minutes. It's a bit late, but not too late. Pretty standard on this map. Oh, yeah, the goblin fight is strong here. Quite impressively so. Most of the axe the front line is gone. And the sentries will suffer from prolonged goblin leaders. But oh, he's going up very far forward here. He needs to peel off some of these goblins to help out as a cultist. Oh, is that a nice back teleport there? Do we have level 5? We have level 5. I think. Oh no, that was a stun shot. Level 4 only. But you're gonna oh, see the barrage, once it gets online, the barrage is gonna be nuts. Looks like, by the way, we, yeah, we did not get the XP for the Wyvern there. So that's really going in Richard's favor there. We're under attack. Well, he himself is level 5, so he's definitely been killing more. And the Hunters are coming online here now, picking off these low health dwarves. Very nice. But if you, if, yeah, if you can't focus to have outpost. It's just not gonna go down, so you have to have to co complete surround huh? and the hunter support there, quick. which are not gonna do very much damage. But oh, nice ta retargeting of the fortified outpost! You can do that. So he targets huh? down the expensive hunter units, and oh, the range was there. Picks one off. No more room for troops. Nicely we done. To our Misses the stun here. Nice pull. Oh, the hunters! Will they get him? Oh, that was so close. We're under attack. And he's out of potions now, so he can't do that again. Outpost goes down. That's very impressive here. Very strong showing on even sector count. <laughs> even get got an observation tower up. Trying to stall. Very, very nice. Got a capital here. Stone halls are what? Pumping what? Yeah, just sentry and axe wheelers still. Do we have forge or anything of the like? Ooh, a tunnel. Where do you lead? Where do you lead? I guess in the middle. Would be a pretty good spot for a tunnel. But maybe he built it and hasn't has forgotten to grab it. That, that outpost might actually be going down. The unit count is just not there yet for... We're under attack! For Ra, level f yeah, still stuck on level four. Really, really rough stuff here. I'm, Gets I'm the leech question mark. Yeah, it's a cooldown. Oh no, actually it's not. Oh no, it is. Apologies. I'm, I'm he does get though. He is out of potions himself. Our the hunters oh stronger. get this kill on the hierophant that gives him level six. Did we see any more? Uh, no additional purchases yet. And gets the middle. That is huge. That is very impressive by Rigid. Nicely done. He has a little bit of a dwarven conga line trying to assemble back with the Hierophant. Oh, look at this pretty tunnel. Stopping the warthog in its tracks. That symbol is amazing. That moustache is glorious. Actually, there wasn't. Uh, there was the item lying about here. Who picked that up? Okay, I think that was the ring of nullification. So Ra did it. Get it. Did get it in the end. Completed. And he's going after the next sector. And every sector the orc gets, the more he can produce out of it. There we go. Has been added to the queue. 
One of the annoying things is you can teleport to your um, lost um, lost buildings there. If they're not, even if they're not in your sector, keep that in mind. You can teleport to any building, by the way. You do not have to teleport to an outpost. For the newer players out there, just in case you're like used to Warcraft 3 town portals, etc. Because I do believe they can only go to the little town. Oh yeah, it's not quite there. Lovely leech and bleed. The leech and bleed. Oh, there's a good one. But he's still low. Hasn't been to the shops yet. But the outpost went down nonetheless. I just heard something weird, but I'm not quite sure what it was. Anything else miraculously happened? No, just more, more and bigger outposts. Oh yeah, I wanted to check something earlier. Uh, we need to go for We're to run for that. It keeps trying to fight. Sorry for skipping away there. Kind of thought they would be disengaging there, but apparently they don't want to, which is great. What I did want to check is 27 seconds for a scouting outpost. If that increases or decreases with uh, level there, but there's the big barrage. Look at that shotgun. It basically just sends out three projectiles. It can hit uh, the same unit multiple times in front of it. So you can shotgun people with it. And it goes through obstacles and everything. It's going to get reduced in damage next patch, most likely. Oh, and the cooldown is there. Jesus Christ, that was quick. Our heroes so grew that could stronger. be his way back into the game. The hunter count is still very high. Look at us. how many hunters is that. Jesus Christ. Skin. That is 25 hunters. That is not shabby at all. So there's the pull. The hunters uh, weren't quite microed on top of it. She does have the level 2 armor, I believe. Uh, okay, just hands away. We're, all, we're pretty far into this. Did lose his front line, so decides to pull back. Well, look at that. The iron economy is coming up. Building completed. Like at this stage of the game, what you sh probably should be doing as an orc is... Uh, either just build Building farms completed. and unassign these boys, and, or if you don't have to spell, actually just sell the lumber at the stone mills in most of your sectors. Just keep some token ones in case you go through it after all. And there we go, something like this is coming up here. Just hunting cabins galore. Just to... Uh, if you do not know, if you demolish a building you get 100% resources invested back. So you can restructure your economy if you have to. So there's a hot tip for the new boys out there. Because this way, this could be even scarier. We just have a lot more food in the bank. If we had some more farms. How's the population? 190 of 200. Almost capped out. And then we're going to see the push. And draw at 48 of 95. That isn't looking too hot. And the economy also is ba almost bankrupt. Here comes the big barrage. Just look at the damage. It's disgusting. And that is one of the reasons why the, the Axe Wilder Rush is so devastating. Because not only do you have to deal with a plethora of angry stunties that just want to s axe your head in. You're also going to have to deal with a high hydro front with massive AOD on AOE on level 5. Oh, some combat balloons headed to the mix. Unfortunately, I don't think against... I don't know. Against Somebody Orcs, I don't know if that's the right choice, but there heroes. we go. The 25 Hunters making short work of the Madam there. And I think that is it. And Rigid advances with a very surprising but convincing show here on Empyrean Coast. Really well done. Very unusual to see the Orc win here. But damn well done. Okay. Just to... I've never actually looked at that. We just have to appreciate this man here. He's glorious. Even though we just clipped into his helmet there. Look at him. Is that bolts what he's carrying there? He's got ammunition for until the apocalypse. Jesus Christ. That thing is beautiful. But there we have it. Rigid advances.